The letters MVC stand for Model View Controller. It's a way of looking at and talking about a multi-tiered system design. The programs that I've been using as examples in this course don't follow the MVC. They were just too small, and besides, they were not written to go into production. They were written to demonstrate how things work in the code. MVC is not anything exact. It's an overall design approach. The letter M stands for Model. It's the underlying data layer. It includes what is known as the business rules that are followed to format and organize the fundamental data. Did you know, for example, there are over 1,700 ways to calculate interest? Doing all the fundamental data accessing and updating in one place makes sense. You can do all this with regular Java classes, database access methods. and You can also use Java Beans to do this, and I'll be showing you how those things work a little later. The letter V stands for View. This is the part of the code that's responsible for creating the displays holding data. That's a lot of what I've been doing with servlets and Java server pages. Also, Java Beans can play a big part in this display, as well as tags. Basically, any formatting of output for human consumption is part of View. The letter C stands for Controller. It's the part of the system that starts programs running, manages the communications among them. Controller programs can be inserted that do nothing but decide what goes where and will direct commands and data coming through to different places. You've seen how you can use the forward and include commands in a servlet to do this. Also, you can use a filter. A controller receives requests and returns responses, and that's what a servlet does. This same thing has been called other names. The letters PAC, for example, stand for Presentation Abstraction Controller. The presentation here is the same as the view in MVC. The abstraction layer in PAC is the model layer in MVC. They both use the word controller to mean the same thing. This also is called a three-tiered architecture. The controller is sometimes called middleware. The more you read about this, the more you understand about it, the more you'll find different names being used for the same concepts. I have read descriptions of MVC by different authors, and they all vary. Some vary a little from my understanding, and some vary a lot. Fundamentally, it comes down to this. You need to have an overall organization in mind, and that organization will tell you where things are located in your program. MVC is in three parts. Fine. As you work with it, the lines between the parts will become blurred a bit because of the special situations that you have to handle. But it is important that you have a fundamental design, and that everybody understands what that fundamental design is. And as you go, you'll need to keep a record of where you put things. It's amazing how much time is spent just trying to locate the pieces that you need to fix. And then when you find them, you don't want to spend your time figuring out everything else that it does. It's not nearly as important what your layout is as to whether or not you have one. It doesn't matter whether you call it modularization, client server, in-tiered architecture, design patterns, PAC, MVC, or whatever. It's important that you understand it and that you follow it.